Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Santera. Hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down cards for Virgo tonight before I call it a day because that, that, that day off after my four day stretch at my bread and butter job is just killer. And I just, I'm not going to lie to you, I straight up didn't have the damn energy to throw cards down very much today. So it just, yeah. So I guess I'm just going to have a long morning ahead of me tomorrow. <laughs> That's okay too. Because these are getting done by noon tomorrow, come hell or high water. Anyway. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first half of June 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate for every Virgo. <clears throat> Check your moon, rising, or Venus sign readings if you want a little bit more insight or something that might resonate a little bit better. You can also hit us up for a personal reading. We do do that here. Relatively low cost. The email is in the about section of the channel as well as in the description of this video. Hit me up. We'll talk. All things are negotiable. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And you guys are welcome here too. Come on in and have a seat. We're going to throw down some cards and have a good time. I gotta set this back here. Okay. Hey now. They stuck together. They were jacking with me. I like that. Okay, Virgo, why are you here? Three swords reversed. Coming out of a state of heartbreak. That's amazing. You're getting through it. I like, what the hell is with all the damn flies in this room? Ew. They're driving me crazy. Oh my God. See what happens? I'm distracted. Virgo, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Are you all up in your head? Do you think they're all up in their head? Are they back crap bonkers? Are they losing it? Are they are they making you lose sleep? Are they losing sleep themselves? Somebody's consumed. What do you think of them? Death reversed. They are not spiritually evolved. There's something about them that has not changed. Probably is not going to change. What do you want from them? Star in reverse. I don't think you want negative energy, Flora. You, I don't think you want them to not get their wish. We're going to throw a clarifier on that in a minute. Bear with me. How do they feel about you? Eight of Swords reversed. They feel like you could give two shits less. You are not consumed by this at all. You don't care. How do, what do they think of you? The moon reversed. No secrets. There is no smoke and mirrors here. You've pretty much let everything out. What do they want from you? Again, I'm confused. The empress reversed. What's the obstacle? Nine of wands. Somebody has walls up. Or somebody wants one last go around. What can be done? Ace of Swords. Cutting off communication. Okay. Clarify. Now we're going to clarify. Now we're going to grab the Everyday Witch and get some clarity. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity for Virgo? For the cards on the table for the first half of June 2020, please.
Why is the star card reversed here? You gonna jump? You gonna jump? Thanks, the magician. You want them to manifest new things in your life in their life. You want them to go forth. You want to disconnect. You don't want the connection with them anymore in any way, shape, or form. You want them to do new things. Or pull somebody else's strings. Take it however it resonates. Why is the Empress reversed here? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Stop, grind to a halt, stagnant. One more. Hierophant reversed. Oh my. Virgo, if you've moved on, they don't want it to work out. Well. Why is the moon reversed here? Now I'm curious. Three of Wands reversed, King of Cups in the upright. They feel the love. They feel the, the overpowering emotion. But you didn't wait for them. You made no secret. You care. They think you care. Hmm. But you didn't wait. Or they care about you very deeply. And don't understand why you didn't wait. Think it's being illuminated. Can I get one more on that? One more. One more. Page of Cups reversed. They think you're just not saying it. Being a little bit aloof, if you will. Why is death reversed here? Thanks. That was fast. Ten of Wands reversed. You think they have a burden they can't release. Something's never going to change. There's things that they do that they're never going to stop doing. There's a dog on their back, if you will. One more. Six of Swords. I think their thoughts are elsewhere. Or you think they literally packed up and moved? There's a deep connection here. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Come on. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Thanks.
Nines, nines, nines. Very quickly approaching the closing of the cycle. Nines, nines, nines. You feel like they're just nuts and they want one last push. You feel like they're willing to throw weapons down. But they're never going to change. You feel like they want to, but you don't think they ever will. And really, you can care less, according to them. In their eyes, you could literally care less. You've already moved on. They're not thrilled about it either. Why is the Nine of Wands here for the obstacle? Three of Pentacles reversed. Someone else walls up on a shaky foundation. This is not coming together. You are not seeing eye to eye. Death reversed and the Eight of Cups reversed. Someone is not willing to change. Someone is not willing to move on. At least not emotionally. Someone wants the return. But walls are up. Someone is extremely closed off to this. Or at very least, if they're open to it, they're not admitting it. Why is the Ace of Swords here for what needs to be done? Why is the Ace of Swords reversed here? Hi. High Priestess reversed. One more. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Someone needs to cut communication off and allow this to disconnect and allow time to do what it's going to do. The Wheel of Fortune is the downward turn of events. It is the karmic clock. It is something you do not control. You cannot control the actions of other people. I mean, some of us can. Some of us have this really cool way to manifest that kind of shit, but yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That's called the Puppet Master. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Somebody has got to let the dream go. Somebody has to stop being so damn bat crap bonkers about this. Okay, let's get some advice from my Virgo friends. Two of Wands upright. Eight of Wands upright. Let go of the past. Move forward to your future. And do it quickly. Keep the lines of communication open, but only if they are positive. Do not let them impede your progress. You're coming out of this. Keep that in mind. You're coming out of this. The devil reversed and justice reversed. If it seems a little bit toxic, imbalanced, it probably is. You need to disconnect from it. Do not try to even these scales. They are not yours to even. You cannot clean up other people's karma. That is not your job. It is not your journey. You need to focus on your journey, not somebody else's. The Seven of Wands, upright, and the Moon reversed. Again, you need to take control of your life and your journey. And allow the smoke and mirrors to clear. And the perceptions... 
to be not so skewed. Let the fog lift. All things will be clear in time. You need to let time do its job. Eight of Swords reversed, Knight of Swords in the uprights. You can communicate, but don't let them suck you in. Don't let them wrap you in a cage. Remember, they already think you don't care. Don't let them suck you in. Okay, Virgo, this has been your reading for the first half of June. Let me know what happens. This is interesting. I like it. I mean, you know, as much as I can like it. It's positive in the effect that you're coming out of a state of sadness. You're coming out of whatever the hell they put you through. That's amazing. I'm super proud of you. And eventually they'll come out of it too. Just gotta let time do its job. Like, share, and subscribe if you feel so compelled. I'm not gonna twist anybody's arm. If you want a personal reading, you know where to find me. Just scroll down or go back to the About section. And hit the notification bell if you wanna know when I upload again. But you can't do that until after you subscribe. So, peace be with you. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you guys on Friday for the weekend top and bottom. Peace.